So, our, this is the last thing we're going to do in our review lesson. We did this this morning. The students this morning came up with all these ideas. Modal auxiliary verbs. So we've just spoken about the three most important auxiliary verbs that form all the different tenses be, have and do. These are the modal auxiliary verbs. Can and could, will and would, shall and should, may, might, must. Here are the, is it nine or ten? One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. The nine most important modal auxiliary verbs. There might be some others, but I don't want to talk about those. These are the ones. So we use can for ability. I can swim. Can you dance? We use it for offers. Oh, I can give you a lift. We can. Or permission. Can I use your phone? We also use can for requests. Can you help me? Uh, I, I, I wrote it in red because I thought I was going to do something really special, but it all went wrong. Um, then we use could for permission and requests. Uh, permission, could I do that? Could I smoke here, for example? I'm talking a lot about smoking because I've just stopped, so that's why I'm talking about smoking. Requests, uh, could I have a cup of tea, please? Uh, could is also the past of can, and Christina came up with this great sentence, I could, I could dance when I was a child, but I can't now. Uh, will is for future simple. I will go back to Mexico soon. Would is the past of will, um, but we also use would for offers and requests. Uh, would you help me? Um, would you like a cup of coffee? That's an offer. Would you help me? That's a request. Shall is our suggestion word. And here's a great example. Shall we go out tonight? What shall we do later? Fantastic suggestions. Should advice. You shouldn't smoke. Let's move on. May. We use may for permission. May I smoke here? May we smoke here? I was... The reason that I, I underline this is because I said, really, we, whenever we use may, we always use it with I. And then Alexandra, clever of her, said, well, what about may we? And she's absolutely right. So, yeah. We use may for requests as well as permission. Uh, may I have a cup of coffee, please? It's incredibly polite. I think that modal verbs in general are polite. Some people say that could is more polite than can, but I think they're all polite, with may being the most polite. Uh, might, when we're not sure about something. I might go out later, I'm not sure. Must, we use for obligation. Oh, you must go there. You, have, you really have to do that. And it could also be strong advice. Oh, you don't look good. You must go to a hospital. That's my advice. The other thing we learned last term, just and I wrote them in green, another way of using can is, oh, am I allowed to? You know, am I allowed to smoke here? Am I allowed to use your phone? I'm allowed to make video recordings. Okay, I can do that. That's permission. And the other thing that we learned last term was must, obligation. We don't have to use must, we can also use have to as well. Now, the important thing about the modal verbs, not about have to or allowed to, but for the modal verbs, and here is the rule. After a modal verb, the main verb is always present simple first person. It is always infinitive. So that's just a review of what we've been doing over the last year and a bit. If you've got this book, uh, English Grammar in Use, you can revise all of this work, units one to six, present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, units 19 to 25 to do with the future, and 26 to 37 is all about the different ways of using these modal verbs. And while I've got this on video, units 42 to 46 is the passive work that sort of is all around all of this stuff. 40. 42 to 46. That's all the really important stuff that, as soon as you get this book, is the stuff we need to work through, as well as all the mistakes that come up for you. Thank you. Okay.